Hello, so how you can create curved cuts through your mesh. So here I have a cube and I want to create a cut, a curved cut on this. So what we are going to do first is to, is to create a curve. Shift A, curve, busy curve. I have my busy curve here. I can hide the cube. I have my curve here. Now I can go in edit mode, tab. And then here, what I want to do is X, delete the vertices. And now I can use the draw, draw a freehand spline here on the menu T here. Go on top or you can go on the side you want, bring back your object. And here you need to draw the curve. So I'm going to make like this, for example, and I want my cut to be like this to be curved like this so now what i need to do is to convert this curve into a mesh so right click convert to mesh now my busy curve you see the little icon here it is a mesh i'm going to hide the cube here so now what i need to do when i go in edit mode you see all the vertices here and i can't make this low poly and not you see here we have a lot lot of vertices and here not so much so what i can do a to select everything and then i can do select checker deselect and then i can do x dissolve vertices it's going to dissolve like this so now i have less and now i can do a to select everything e extrude on z like this i can bring back the cube here and this is going to go through the cube G Z like this, like this. So my cut is going to be like this. Now, what I need to do is to enable the bool tool add on. So go in edit, go in preferences, add ons, bool tool, object bool tool. And this is going to give you hotkeys to cut your objects. So it's going to use the boolean modifier. So you can see in the shortcuts here, the brush operators. And we are going to use the slice, control numpad slash here. And you can change the shortcuts if you want, if it is not working on my keyboard. I changed mine because this one was not working. So go in key map, in key map if you want to change, look for bool, so brush slice this one, Mine, I put the comma here and you can click and do the shortcut you want. So here you can save your preferences and now you can use the hotkey. Click on this on the curve surface here. Shift click on your object. So I click on the cube. Now the active object is the, is the cube. You see it is in orange and my curve here, it is in red. So now I can do control comma to slice. Now you see it is slicing. We have two parts. So you can see here we have the cube and we have this part, the cube 001. And both of these objects have the Boolean modifier here in the modifiers. This and this. And it is cutting following the curve here. Now what I need to do, if I move this See, it is not two parts, so we need to apply the modifier. So click on the cube, click on apply, and then you have make object data single user. Click on this, click on this one, and apply. Now we have two parts here, cut following the curve we made. If you want to get a list of more than 60 websites for your 3D project, I have a list of resources that you can access with the link in the description. I have website to get textures, to get 3D models, characters, to get uh, animation, sound effects, a lot, lot of things. And also you can check out my courses on my websites. And also you can join the newsletter if you want to receive weekly discounts on the courses. So thanks for following this tutorial and I will see you in another one. Bye.